Hi, welcome to Inbox Euro. Here we will tell you about the SEO search engine optimization. What is SEO search engine optimization? SEO means search engine optimization. SEO means the entire process of improving upon your website to boost its visibility in Google, Microsoft Bing. The greater your web page's visibility in search results, the more probable you might become uncovered and clicked on. Finally, the target of SEO is to help entice website visitors who will grow to be customers, clients, or an audience that retains coming back. SEO versus SEM. SEM means online search engine marketing, or, since it is much more frequently identified, search advertising. Looking for promotion can be a kind of electronic marketing. It can be an umbrella phrase for the combination of SEO and PPC pursuits meant to push site visitors through organic research and compensated research. Set only, look for promoting is the process of gaining site visitors and visibility from search engines as a result of both paid out and unpaid initiatives. So how can SEO and SEM differ? SEO equals driving organic website traffic from engines like Google. SEM equals driving natural and compensated site visitors from search engines like Google. PPC stands for pay-per-click, a style of digital internet marketing where advertisers are billed anytime one of their ads gets clicked on. If we expect search advertising for a coin, SEO and PPC are two sides of the same coin, SEO will be the unpaid aspect, and PPC will be the paid out aspect. SEM is usually a vital advertising and marketing channel. Very first, and foremost, Natural Search provides 53% of all internet site targeted visitors. Trillions of searches are carried out yearly. Search is frequently the primary source of website visitors, making it important to be search engine friendly on any system where people can hunt for your manufacturer or organization. Another reason SEM is important for models and companies, in contrast to other promoting channels, a very good SEM function is sustainable. Anytime a paid out marketing campaign ends, so do the site visitors. Site visitors from social media marketing traffic are at greatest unreliable. There are many types of SEO just like on-page SEO, off-page SEO, technical SEO, international SEO, local SEO, e-commerce SEO, content SEO, mobile SEO, white hat SEO, black hat SEO, gray hat SEO, negative SEO. Let's start with the first type on-page SEO. It includes SEO keyword research, quality SEO content, internal linking for SEO, metadata SEO optimization, image SEO optimization, URL structure, SEO keyword research. It involves identifying relevant search terms, keywords, that users are searching for and incorporating those keywords strategically into website content. Quality SEO content. It means creating content that is both user-friendly and search engine-friendly. Internal linking for SEO. It involves placing links within a website to connect relevant pages together in order to improve user experience. Metadata SEO optimization. It involves optimizing the HTML elements such as title tags, header tags, and meta descriptions to accurately and briefly convey what the page is about. Image SEO optimization. It is the process of optimizing website images with descriptive file names, alt tags, and captions to improve both user experience and search engine visibility. URL structure. It refers to the way a website's URLs are organized and designed, incorporating relevant keywords to help search engines understand website content. Also called off-site SEO, is the practice of improving a website's search engine ranking by optimizing factors outside of the website itself. Guest blogging. Guest blogging is a common off-page SEO technique used for building backlinks. HRO. Responding to journalists' and reporters' queries to gain media exposure and earn backlinks to improve SEO. Competitor research and analysis. Examining competitors' backlinks, content, and keywords to gain insights and improve one's own SEO strategy. Internet ads. Placing paid ads on external websites and search engines to drive traffic and generate leads for a website or business. Press distribution. Sharing press releases with relevant media outlets to secure backlinks, attract potential customers, and increase brand recognition. Brand signals. Brand signals in SEO refer to the online presence and reputation of a brand. The goal of technical SEO is to make a website more accessible and user-friendly for both search engines and website visitors. Site load time. This optimization involves improving website speed and performance to provide a better user experience. Mobile friendliness. It refers to the design and functionality of a website that is optimized for viewing on mobile devices such as smartphones and tablets. Crawl error identification. It is the process of finding and resolving errors that prevent search engines from accessing website content. Site structure. 
It refers to the process of creating a clear and organized website structure that makes it easy for users and search engines to navigate and understand website content. International SEO improves your website's organic traffic from different areas and languages. If you want to succeed at international SEO, you must cater to your target market's cultural context and allow them to make transactions in their currency and language. International SEO aims to create a good online experience for your target audience. Local SEO strategy for local businesses is one of the most important types of SEO as it helps the business become more visible in local search results on Google. Local SEO helps businesses reach the local audience by analyzing their behavior through trillions of searches. If you use local SEO practices, then your local business has the opportunity to rank higher in the search results and the local map pack at the same time. E-commerce SEO is one of the best ways to get traffic by paid search, but the SEO costs are much less. It helps create your online store website to rank higher whenever someone searches for a product or service. It's important to have your website appear in the SERPs, else, you'll lose critical access to potential and qualified e-commerce customers. Another name in the list of types of SEO is Content SEO. It refers to creating unique content, be it writing, graphics, or videos, to structure your website, ranking it higher in SERPs. Three things must be considered while working with content SEOs, copywriting, site structure, and keyword strategy. It's very important to balance all three, as, without quality content, your website cannot stand in the search results. Mobile SEO is a term used to describe optimizing a site for search engines while simultaneously ensuring that it is viewable properly on devices like mobiles and tablets. If a customer has a bad experience with a brand on their mobile phone, they may never return. If you want your clients to have the best possible experience, you need to apply this type of optimization. When you hear someone say white hat SEO, that means the SEO practices that are in line with the terms and conditions of the major search engines, including Google. White Hat SEO improves your search engine ranking on the SERPs while regulating the integrity of your website with the search engine's terms of service. Use keyword-rich, descriptive meta tags. Provide quality services and content to the website's visitors. Make your website easy to navigate. Black Hat SEO exploits weaknesses in Google's search algorithm to rank higher in its search results. Spammy or paid link building strategies, keyword stuffing, cloaking, etc., are used to get ahead in search engine results. These practices give instant results, but they can impact your website negatively if detected by Google. Hence, it is advised to avoid black hat SEO. It's an SEO practice that's riskier than white hat SEO. That's because the gray hat SEO practices belong neither to the white hat nor black hat category as the terms and conditions regarding the issue are unclear. However, using gray hat SEO practices will not result in a site ban. In simpler terms, the material or content you publish per the gray hat SEO remains ill-defined. Knowing that gray hat SEO practices can save your website from losing traffic as you will be well aware of the negative consequences, which will help you adopt fair practices. Negative SEO is an abhorrent and unethical sort of SEO practice today. Negative SEO aims to lower your competitors' search rankings so that you can overtake them or gain an advantage over them. Bad SEO techniques include breaking into someone's site, creating a suspiciously large number of low-quality links to it, and publishing negative feedback or reviews about it on numerous internet forums and discussion boards, etc. A person caught doing bad SEO can lead to various legal issues. If you want to become an SEO expert then you need to know much more than just different types of SEO. Head to Inbox Euro to learn more advanced concepts and skills in SEO and digital marketing. Thank you for watching our video. If you want more informational videos then like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. If you want to make money online then join our website Inbox Euro.